I'm, uh, I'm a little square in the middle of town in Zurich, Switzerland right now, and everywhere around me there's history. Um, you know, building here has a plaque. This is where, you know, the people that founded the Anabaptist movement lived. There's another plaque here, a famous person lived. Uh, people that shaped culture, that uh, uh, created uh, history that uh, has influenced this nation. And you know, uh, we don't have to live insignificant lives. We can be history makers. Uh, we can be nation shakers. God's looking for vessels. And, and the great thing about it is that God's not looking for the, the wealthy necessarily. He's not looking for the intellectual. God's just looking for willing vessels. He wants to use you. And you need to begin with your own family, with your own household. Sow the gospel into their hearts. As you have opportunity, share with other people. God can use you. You might think, well, I'm not qualified. You know what? That's perfect. That way God gets all the glory. And just like, you know, the people in these, these actual apartments and houses around me where these plaques are affixed, you know, so-and-so that, you know, affected the nation this way and these people that affected the nation that way. You may not ever get a plaque on a building with your name on it, but you know what? Your name can be written in heaven. I read about uh, uh, Cornelius, uh, the Roman centurion, and uh, his prayers and his giving came up as a memorial before God in heaven. It's better to have your name written in heaven than inscribed on a building, friend. And if you'll just get busy about the master's business, God can use you to make some history of your own. So get busy, do the will of God, and watch what he might do through you. And again, if you feel unqualified, you're perfect because that way God gets all the glory.